there's definitely so much passion in politics yeah. that we feel whether we're a candidate or whether we're a voter. Yep. I mean, it's it's personal. Hi everybody, I'm Gina Roberts and I'm the Voter Education Director for Clean Elections. And today I am so excited because I am sitting next to Josh Marin, who is part of really a cultural phenomenon, if you will. He is part of the cast of Hamilton. Yes. So Josh, thank you so much for being here and speaking what? with Clean Elections. Yeah. What is something interesting that you've taken away from learning about George Washington? One of the interesting things that I found in my research is that he actually was uh, like predominantly self-educated. You would think that someone with so much like power and like revere would, would have a lot of education and especially as the first president, you know, you would think there would be a lot of education there. But it actually is interesting that he kind of self-made himself into, you know, this person who, you know, who's on our dollar bill and who, who really led our country into such a, 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 a dynamic shift from, you know, being colonized and then being able to move on into, our, into creating our own, you know, country and, and having our independence. I do need the country to feel like they can support itself without me. Mm -hmm. Because if I release this power, then potentially the idea is that someone else will pick it up and we can continue to pass that baton, you know, time after time and, and again and again. And I think, you know, obviously the, the, the peaceful, you know, passing of power in our country is something very unique to us. But for him to really have that notion of like, I, I no longer think that I, and, and even in, in the, some of the texts, he says, maybe I have been unintentional of the errors that I've made. And so m maybe it's time for me to step away and see if someone else can do better than I can. You know, let me hand it off to someone who may have a different perspective that potentially take the country in a different direction. Well, as a country, we still experience that today. Right. I mean, we still have these transitions of powers. You know, we have, as voters, we elect candidates into office and there's term limits. And so we see this transition of power yeah. at every level of office, Correct. you know, whether we're looking at, you know, a city council member or we're looking at a congressperson mm -hmm. or we're looking at president. And yep. so that that is, you know, very amazing to look back and see what Washington did and, and how, you know, he held all that power. And yeah. you're right, how he stepped back and, and released it. So one of the reasons that Clean Elections wanted to connect with you all at, at Hamilton is because, as, as I mentioned, we work to promote participation in the sure. political process. And sure. that, you know, is a range of, of things, whether it's from voting or it's from civic engagement. But just learning about the history of our, our country is so yeah. important. And I think what you all are doing with Hamilton and sharing this story, but putting it in a way that people can be receptive to, sure. you know, it's art. Sure. And if somebody goes and sees the production, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think? that they are feeling when they leave, when yeah. they leave the show. And do you think that's inspiring them to be maybe more civically engaged, perhaps? Ideally, yes. The answer is that we would be able to create enough of an impact on the people in our audiences to be able to walk away with questions, walk away with different thought processes, to be able to challenge themselves, to, to really challenge our audiences, to be able to take the information that we've given them via this container of a show, and then to be able to onset it onto themselves and say, how do I feel about these different things? Did I know that Hamilton set the, the national banks, you know? And then also now, you know, then looking at George Washington, wow, did I know that he actually was the person that kind of, you know, started the engagement of, you know, peaceful uh, passing of power. And ideally, especially because of the political climate, the idea is 100% to be able to have people take these challenges that we've given them and take these notions that we've given them and then to put that onto their body and then do something with it, create that change, mm -hmm. right? Go to the voting polls, mm -hmm. be able to, you know, to, to tap into their, their local legislature and be able to tap into their state legislature and the, and the federal legislature and really understand what's going on. We get a fun opportunity to, to package it in a really fun way, but, you know, polit politics can be difficult to digest. We give it a great way to digest it. And I think that's the catalyst, right, is, is giving uh, our audience the catalyst to be able to be like, oh, okay, politics can be fun. Even though there's a lot to learn, a lot to know, right. we can still be able to take information from, you know, the arts and be able to recognize, wow, there is a lot to learn and we can challenge ourselves a little bit more and maybe, you know, push ourselves to think a little bit deeper or differently and 
does that cause us to, to want to do something about it? Well, thank you so much, Josh. Thank yeah. you for being here and speaking with us. Thank you for your contribution to the arts and to community. Sure. It's amazing. And, and to our voters, thank you so much for tuning in. And however you decide to participate, whether it's through voting or whether it's through learning about what the roles and responsibilities are of your elected officials or learning how to um, serve your community, you can visit azcleanelections.gov and we'll help you through that process. Thank you.